Okay, um, I want to talk to you guys and gals about mortgage insurance. There's a lot of uh, misunderstanding um, out there about it, what you can or can't do with it. Everybody thinks that they have to have it. Um, and, and basically, there's, there's so many different things to, to kind of go over because, once again, when we sit down with a client, we go over multiple options with them. But it also includes when they have to have mortgage insurance one way or the other. Now, I don't know if you know this, but there's there's so many different ways to structure mortgage insurance, okay? Uh, you can have borrow paid monthly. You can have borrow paid monthly single. It's a one-time payment, okay? And, you, and then you can have to split. You can split it. You can pay a one-time payment and then lower the, the MI on a per-month basis. So there's so many different ways to set up. And then inside a split, you could do seven different ways here. You could do it. Uh, 100, 1.25%, 1.5%. So the higher percentage you go, the lower the monthly MI goes as far as paying it you know, in, in a lump sum. Here is just one lump sum, and here is, is on a month basis. And then you also have lender paid PMI, which I'm setting this up for a client that I'm meeting with today and doing a mortgage presentation with them. I'm, I'm going to show them a few different ways how they can structure their MI to see which is the best way. And the LPMI might actually be a better way. And what that is, is a slightly higher rate, but there's no monthly MI. Now, the cool part about that is that you get more tax savings with a slightly higher rate. So when you get your mortgage interest deduction, you actually uh, get more money back towards you in your pocket or towards your, your taxes. So uh, that turns out to be a pretty good deal as well. It just, it just depends on the file, credit score. Uh, the type of person and so forth, but you don't have to have monthly mortgage insurance if you don't want it. If you want it, then then there's a couple of different ways to go about it. You know, if somebody wants a monthly mortgage insurance, uh, but they don't want to go to LPMI, lender pay mortgage insurance, then that way that then they're they're leaning towards paying a single one time fee, or they're going to be uh, or splitting it it up, paying a uh, basically you know half of it, paying you know half of the single. And then still have the MI. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So when you go into this here, we go into Radian MI Finder. Okay, that's one of the MI companies. We have plenty of them. But when you dive into here, you can you can uh, you know just plug all this information in here. Okay, the MI coverage, everything else. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to submit. Okay, we're going to submit these three different scenarios: the monthly mortgage insurance, which everybody 99% of people have, and they think they think they have to have that. The, B, the borrow paid monthly mortgage insurance and the split edge. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to talk about the LPMI on this scenario as well. So if you go here on this part, okay, on this part. So if you go on this one here, on one, all right. So we're going to go down here. We're going to hit submit. Okay. okay let me show you what this pulls up here. Okay. So this is the monthly MI. This is the one that everybody talks about. Okay. Now it's seventy-four dollars. Yes, it's you know it's called seventy-five. Okay, so yeah, that's seventy-five dollars extra you have to pay until you get this one's doing five percent down until you get fifteen percent equity after a couple of years. Uh, at, you know, basically you have to wait at least two years, but then after that, uh, after that two years, once you hit eighty uh, percent equity, uh, I'm sorry, twenty percent equity, eighty percent loan to value, then you can drop that seventy-five uh, bucks. That's the most common one. This one here. Okay, so you look here, this is 3344 okay? So yeah, that's a big, big chunk. Okay, why would anybody want to pay that? Well, if somebody has the funds or if the seller is paying sell pay closing costs, this is an option. Then you can roll that in and they can be paid by the seller, okay? So just kind of keep that in mind. This one's kind of the happy meeting between both of them. If you look here, sorry, zoom out. If you look here, this one is the upfront, okay? So it's about $1,000 less here, but then the MI drops down to about $40. Okay, so you can play around with this as much as you want and, and figure out which is the best way to go for this client, uh, depending on the whole scenario. What's the seller paying closing costs? And on this scenario, the seller is paying a lot of closing costs, so which is great because it's less money out of the pocket for them, um, and, it, and it gives us more options to help them financially. So you got to incorporate this up. The, the last thing is the lender paid mortgage insurance. When you look at that, lender paid mortgage insurance, um, it takes off the 74 bucks, so, so the rate will go up. A little bit okay um, but in you know so basically the interest rate will go up let's just say uh, a quarter for an example okay so instead of paying you know a certain amount um, you know that $75 goes away if we go here 
you know, that basically it's going to save them about $50 a month, $40 a month right now, as far as their monthly payments, as, as compared to taking a lower interest rate and having mortgage insurance. Okay. But the big thing that people don't think about is, hey, there's more tax savings because there's more interest to be written off with a slightly higher rate. And we share that to all of our clients. I, my whole point of doing this video is that MI isn't just a monthly MI. There's so many different options. And you got to look what's best for your client when you sit down with them. Uh, and that's what we do during the mortgage presentation. So let me know if you have any questions. Uh, private message me, comment down below. And hopefully this helps you.